Hey everybody, it's me DJ zh 20 and I'm uh, trying to do a video here. Someone in my Facebook group of DJs Helping DJs asked, how do you get Rekordbox on your laptop so that you don't have to use your controller because he couldn't get the audio out of his laptop? Well, I'm going to show you today. Because um, when you buy a controller and you get Rekordbox, Record box comes up with a, you know, a, it's a, a licensing agreement and you just download record box and it sees your controller and it boom, you get it. OK, uh, there's no licensing key, uh, you know, like when you buy other programs or like when you used to buy Windows program, you used to have, to have that little key that 100 to 25, whatever it was, letters and numbers that went with your key. So you don't need that with record box as long as you have a controller. If you have a controller, you boom, you're good. You're golden. So once you unplug your controller, you should be able to just pop your laptop open and start working with record box. <laughs> it should be that simple. I'm just saying it should be that simple. If you keep seeing me look up, you know why I look up? Because right there. I have, <laughs> yes, I have a 36-inch TV. Why? Because I'm old. See the gray? I have a TV, and I use a TV to monitor from my laptop so I can see. I can put two points in, in perspective, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to take my camera away from me. We're going to go over here, if I can get this, because I, I got so much stuff here. Okay, see my laptop, my big TV. Right here, I have going out into my mixer. From my mixer to my speakers, I have two 5-inch Yamaha speakers. And that's my little table that I, that I do everything on. That's just my little workstation. So... Let's pull up record box and I'll show you how this works. Um, okay, let's pull up record box. There's record box, right? Go to your settings. From your settings, in the audio tab, which is the second tab, go to audio. In your audio settings, go to headphones. Drop down menu. You see headphones because I am coming out of the headphone jack on my laptop. I'm just saying. That's that's that simple. Close it out. Because if you're hooked to your controller, let me show you this again. If you are hooked to your controller, see where it says master out right there? Right here it says master out. And then you got all the other channels. You would have the headphones where your headphones are out. But you're not using that. ISO, DDJ 1000 ASIO. You're not using that right now. You're using headphones. So that that's the difference. Okay. And so see, I have a, a playlist right here. See my playlist? And I got that song in there. And I got this song in here. Right? And of course, the very starting point, I put a Q point. A and A. Right? Uh, see, this one has a B starting point. So what do I do? Why am I doing? Well, maybe that's where I want to start the song, right? I want to mix the song in there. So like starting of a song. So we can see, we can control our sliders. So I'm going to mix this next song in right here. And that is it, my friends. That is all you need to do. That's because now, okay, so I've already played my first song. Now I need to put my second song in there. And hit my cue points, get my, my beat match back up to, to where I need to be, and boom. I can make this list, get it how I need it, and then take it back there to my controller, and boom, I'm golden. Okay, let's, let's get this party back started again. So, you understand how you do that. Out of your laptop, 
straight to your speakers, headphones, because that's what it's coming out of. It's coming out of the headphone jack on your laptop. And then from there, or like this, let me show you again, this Yamaha mixer, this little mixer right here. See that mixer? That's going to set you back about 125 bucks, 130 bucks. It's a channel one, channel two, channel three and four, channel five and six. One, two, so you can hook your microphone into number one, have your speakers coming out here, or if you need quarter inch, you can use quarter inch coming out of your speakers there, or you can use XLR. Okay, we're going back up. Excuse my hand in front of your face. Sorry about that, my friends. But that little Yamaha mixer is great for two reasons. One, I got my main setup over here inside the ballroom. Okay, so when I go to the ballroom, I act good, right? But in the meantime, I'm over here, and I got a ceremony set up, just set in the next room. I don't need my laptop, right? What It's over there in my controller, but I, I'm, unless I'm, you know, remotely Bluetoothing from there, which I, there's a lot of lag, just a lot of lag, don't do it. I, you can do it, but... It's not suggested. Take your laptop with a little mixer like this. I got some 12 inch EV speakers, right? I take this, this little setup right here, and I go over to the ceremony and we play music and um, I can even use, let me turn this down, let me turn this off. This little thing right here, okay? Here's my, my tablet that I use for ceremonies. I got I got the bride's name in there. I got the groom's name in there. Um, I've got everybody's name in there, right? I got what's going on at what time, who's going to do what. But I also have on my tablet my own little design there. You like that? Um, let's see what we got here. I can't even find my music file. That's pathetic. Um, so, here, I'll give you an idea. Amazon, right? Yeah, Amazon Music. I use Amazon Music all the time. Coming straight from my tablet. So I can go out of here. It's That's going straight into my mixer. See that? That's going straight into my mixer. Right there. From this. And ladies and gentlemen, I am... I'm, I'm there. I'm right there. So... I can use my laptop or my tablet. I can leave my laptop in my in, in in a gig room, and I can use my tablet. I've got I've got a, a set of songs mixed on there already for that. But this is a whole other sort. I'm just like totally off subject here, but just trying to help you out. Um, like I said, I I mix music and I know things. Guess what? I did it. I did it, didn't I? That's what I do. I mix music and I know things. I love my wife. She got me this shirt off Amazon. So, my friends, that's what we're going to do. That's that's how you use Rekordbox on your laptop to your speakers. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and, and I'll answer what I can. I am not an expert, but there is a thing, a manual. It's called a manual for a reason on Rekordbox. Read the manual. Um, it'll help you out a lot and or just play with it whatever what it's ever easiest for you until then my friends uh be well be safe and happy mixing